Alrighty, welcome to The Counter Offer, where we take the title of two news stories that Eric doesn't know and two news stories that I don't know, and we talk about it. This is Eric, by the way. <laughs> Let's say number 28. Are we up to number 28? Yes, season two, episode 28. First one, season two, episode 28. I'm going to start. Go for it. More Americans are moving to Spain and paying high prices for rentals. Listen to what Spain's doing. It's very, very smart. Actually, America was doing it for a little bit. The number of expats living in Spain grew 13% in the last two years. Why? I will tell you in a second. They launched a digital nomad visa. So all the people that are working at Meta, Amazon, who are wherever. Remote. Remote. They're making it easier to move in and work there. It's known as the Golden Visa. All you have to do is purchase a property for $500,000, 500 euros, 500,000 euros, and you have a visa. That's it. So <laughs> I think that's the easiest way to bring people into your country at buy property. And this is the most interesting part. I think this is what London does, which is they only have a tax when you buy and it's not a monthly tax so they have something called a stamp duty tax that is one to 2.5 percent so you pay it up front but the problem is nobody moves then because you already paid your tax huh. on the apartment in other words say one percent of five hundred thousand dollars so it's a very interesting how long does the visa last thing that sell? they're doing i don't know but if you own property i assume they can't do anything, right? I don't know. Let's see the... You do get property rights if you own something in New York. But well, they, it's not a visa. Weren't they doing that $250,000? You invested $250,000 into a business and they would do something? That was years back. But that's a really smart idea for Spain. And to Especially be honest... Especially for working remote. Yeah. You know, everyone's talking about going remote and why not go remote in Spain? Sounds nice to me. The luxury tower built for New York City's elite still sits half empty. Ooh. Long article here in the Wall Street Journal over the weekend. Uh, while related companies set out to build Hudson Yards at roughly 28 acre, just think about that, 28 acre mega project on Manhattan's there. far west side, its goal was lofty. The developer wanted to turn a windswept rally yard rail yard <laughs> rail yard into the next hot destination for the global elite uh it was very long article so there's a lot in here and basically the long story of it is that the uh schedule a prices are substantially higher than what they're selling for now yeah. so you can get a great discount at hudson yards and it's good because they actually asked related a lot of questions about it. They talked to brokers about it as well. Uh, buyers included, people who had purchased at Hudson Yards and now are selling at a discount from where they purchased it at. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was- Schedule A is? When you release the properties onto the market, what they are- uh, And what you tell the bank you're gonna sell it at. Exactly. So that's actually really important that they're selling below what they told the bank they were going to sell it at, which the banks never are happy on that. And they actually control it sometimes. They well, say no. The article is definitely worth a read. It almost seemed a bit like a hit piece. I wouldn't say it was that, you know, it's that negative. Sponsored uh, by... <laughs> yeah, sponsored by... Another people. developer. Uh, but that's, you know, there's a lot of things that kind of derailed it. And they... Uh, no pun intended, since it was built on the rail yard <laughs> or the rally yard. Uh, the <laughs> yeah, what's going through your uh... <laughs> so basically, it's uh, a great read. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. You well, can get a discount at cuts. To notes. interrupt, I was there on Sunday and I was shocked. It was the first time that I've ever been there. It was the first time that I was impressed with a development that size. It is new. It's beautiful. It's high end. It's very clean, and it was packed with tourists. And all I thought was, how are people not buying this? Because if you think about it, 
you have everything in that area. You don't have to go to another location. So I would have thought that a lot of foreigners would have came in or a lot of second homes would have came in because it is luxury, it luxury. It is nice. You can walk right up the High Line and you end up in Hudson Yards. And there's yeah. a lot of good restaurants at Hudson Yards and shopping, etc. But it's been open since 2018. It's crazy. So that was your first time being there? Maybe yeah. that's why it's not selling. <laughs> they need more of my presence. <laughs> Moving on to the market update. What does everyone always talk about? So this is the June real estate market update. Uh, citywide, the medium asking price broke records for the third consecutive month, reaching just under $1.1 million, steady demand for buyers, and a sharp decline in sales inventory is making it seller friendly. And buyers with large budgets are still actively shopping, particularly in Brownstones in Brooklyn and the Manhattan condo market. I was actually sent a brownstone that went on the market for $6.1 million where my sister's living in Brooklyn, and I am shocked. But there are no brownstones really in Brooklyn that people are selling. So anything that comes on the market, it's gonna go. And this is an area you wouldn't think that six point, I think 6.1 is a little steep, but I also think that there's no competition. So I think that's, that's, right. that's the biggest thing is for the pricing to continuously go up, there's just nothing on the market. You know, in New York City, you still have a lot of off-market deals, but outside of the city, it's probably just not non-existent because of the interest rates they don't want to sell. So yeah. that's the June market update. Yeah, a lot of uh, inventory that's not available. Yeah. So if you want to have a brownstone in Brooklyn, you have to pay up. Yep. Especially if it's in a good neighborhood. Uh, this should come to nobody's surprise, but it's a Yahoo Finance article. Okay. Rent mania. Want to live in Manhattan? You better think twice. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the article is more like you better check your pocketbook and your income because rents, again, going up. Uh, this is the funny one. It starts off, the median rents in New York City are reaching record highs, according to the latest data. Some cases triggering bidding wars for, well some mediocre properties <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's exactly Wheelhouse. right uh in fact that is where to rent in new york city to have that flexibility you got to pay to play yeah uh it's really interesting how that has turned around you know in the middle of COVID and the pandemic you couldn't give these apartments away these mediocre apartments you yep. couldn't even give the good apartments away yeah now you know you bidding have wars. to bid, bid up on a mediocre place. Yeah, So especially in the right location. In the yeah. right location, it's renting quick and at a high price. Yeah. And people, you know, <laughs> you hear stories of people looking for months for rentals. It's crazy. Like, I wouldn't have the patience for that. Well, that's also because they'll re-sign on a month to month but start paying that high rent. Yep. So they're like, oh, don't worry, I'll figure something out. and. Another thing that's pretty interesting is the seasonality. Everybody used to say the savvy New Yorkers would like wait for the winter or yep. you know look for some sort of opportunity. It doesn't matter nowadays. You no. list it and it goes. That's so. June. If June went up, that's usually historically a slower time. But you know when you have to look is when, is when there are You're holidays ready. that nobody's in the city. Yeah, July Fourth, Labor Day, Memorial Day. When everybody leaves. It's not that you're going to get a better deal. It's going to be that there's less competition. Yeah. So I always say the people who have been looking on those like hot days on July 4th, that weekend, they earned it yeah. <laughs> and they do earn it. So, yeah. yeah. So that's the uh, counter offer for this week. We'll be live next week with new news. And if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.